Hi everyone, welcome to Keene State College. My name is Maggie Cahoon and I'm a senior studying business management and safety and occupational health applied sciences. I'm a member of the field hockey team, the student athlete advisory committee, and I'm also a tour guide for the admissions office. We're starting our tour here today in front of Elliott Center. This is home to a few offices like admissions, financial aid, payroll and student accounts, academic and career advising, TRIO and Aspire, our tutoring services, as well as our health and wellness center. Behind me as well is Jocelyn House. This is home to our public health majors. Our next academic building is Rhodes Hall. This houses our nursing, education, and other social science majors like psychology, sociology, criminal justice, and legal studies. It also holds our nursing labs and a great representation of our average class size, which is 20 students. Campus is located right on Main Street within a 10 minute walk of shops, restaurants, and internship opportunities. Appian is especially beautiful in the fall on the walk to your classes with all the leaves changing colors. I'm now standing on the quad. This is a gathering space for students, faculty, and staff and is also home to our commencement ceremony. The quad is surrounded by two academic buildings, Morrison Hall and Parker Hall. These hold classes in English, history, philosophy, and film studies. Blake House is on the other side of the quad and that's home to business management. Through the business management program, I was able to have opportunities like Academic Excellence Conference and presenting the work I did in the fall in my marketing class. Also surrounding the quad are two of our residence halls, Huntress Hall and Fisk Hall. Huntress hosts some of our first year students and Fisk hosts some of our upper class students. Both of these buildings offer traditional living with communal bathrooms and laundry room access. Laundry services are available in all of our residence halls and the fees are paid before you come to Keene State. There are no additional costs. Both of these buildings also have community directors and community assistants that are here to help you through the process of transitioning from home to college living. I am now in front of the Mason Library. Beyond the thousands of resources we have available here, we are also part of the Interlibrary Loan Services and have access to the Keene Public Library right here in town. The collections here support Keene State's curriculum and the building offers many different breakout rooms for you to go study in groups with your friends. We also have the Writing and Research Help Desk as one of our resources on campus to get you extra help wherever you need it. also home to the Cohen Center for Holocaust and Genocide Studies. We are the only college in the country that offers this as an undergraduate degree. We also have a gallery space, a 60C auditorium, and a ton of office spaces in this building. We are the, one of the oldest resource centers for Holocaust research. Science Center holds classes in all of your general sciences like biology, chemistry, geography, computer science, and environmental studies along with a variety of other courses. This is also home to our largest lecture hall, Science 101, which seats around 100 students. Just for some perspective, I had a class in there last year and only had about 35 students in there with me. This building also has lab spaces that are dedicated for student and faculty research opportunities. Arts Center is home to film studies, journalism, communications, and graphic design. This building holds film labs, a production studio for film and broadcast journalism, as well as a Mac lab for graphic design. I'm now standing in front of the Young Student 
Student Center. This is a central gathering space for our students. I love to come out here and hang out with my friends, do homework, and grab some food from any of our dining options located here. Lloyd's Bean and Bagel, which has our Starbucks, as well as the Night Owl Cafe, home to the famous Sizzler. This building also has our bookstore, our mail services, the game room, student government offices, the Office of Multicultural Student Support and Success, as well as the Mabel Brown Room, which is a presentation space and also hosts some of our dance classes. Technology Design and Safety Center, or TDS, hosts majors in Safety and Occupational Health Applied Sciences, Construction Safety, Construction Management, Architecture, and Sustainable Product Design and Innovation, or SPEEDY. This building has a ton of labs, whether it's our SPEEDY Design Lab, our Safety Lab, or the Architecture Classrooms with a ton of individual workspaces. This is also the building that I spend the most time in and where I gained an internship to the geotechnical engineering firm I currently work for. Dining Commons has a variety of different food options ranging from pizza and pasta to our salad bar, main grill, ice cream, and my favorite, the make-to-order omelet bar. We also have a variety of different meal plans ranging from unlimited access to commuter plans. The Dining Commons also has a dietitian to help students that have any special dietary needs. This side of campus is home to many of our residential buildings. Butler Court, Holloway Hall, and some of our owl's nests are open to our upper class students, and then Carl Hall is another one of our first year housing options. Behind me is the Spalding Gymnasium. This is home to our exercise science and new sport and rec management programs. This is also where our fitness center is, which has a free weight room as well as a cardio level, and we have a free hanging track. We also have uh, different spaces that allow for yoga classes, spin classes, and boot camp classes. This is also home to our main pool as well as our main gym, which hosts our swim and dive teams as well as our basketball and volleyball teams. Keene State is part of the Little East Conference, which is a Division III program, and we have 18 varsity sports. The Redford Arts Center is home to our music, theater, dance, and art programs. This also holds the Putnam Arts Lecture Hall, the main theater, which seats 575 people, the Wright Theater, and the Alumni Recital Hall, which is a music performance space. Art classes are located on the third floor, and music classes and practice modules are located on the first. Behind me is Brickyard Pond. We have three residential halls located on the pond, pond side one, two, and three. All of these offer suite or apartment style living for our upper class students. Keene State runs on a blue light system. When you're standing at a blue light, you can see another blue light somewhere on campus. If you press this button, you can be in contact with campus safety immediately if you ever feel unsafe. Our third and final first year housing option is the Commons. The purpose of this building is to have you living in communities with like-minded people, and it's also home to our honor students in their first year. Thanks for joining us on this tour of Kingan State today. Hope to see you soon.